you are the very first competitive eater of any sort that I've talked to on the podcast. So just feel special in that. Like, I mean, I've been with some people that, you know, you're, you're sad. You eat on a Friday night, maybe a Saturday night, but like, and I, and I met you at one of the secret shows. I'm, I'm just like so enamored. I'm so fascinated with everything about you. Like, how do you prepare? How do you, how do you like prepare for this sort of a thing? How did you get into it? I think I want to know how did you first realize like, hey, I have a skill and a knack for competitive eating. All right. Well, we'll, we'll start back in the day. Uh, it was probably like 2010. I was, I was standing in the cable line paying, you know, waiting to pay my bill. My uh, And there was this young woman in front of me, tiny. She was all in like, you know, this, you know, the yoga pants and, you know, workout gear. And she was telling the girls how she was going to go back to Coney Island that she qualified with 15 hot dogs and buns to go back to, you know, compete. And I kind of chuckled and she turned right around and called me out. She's like, big boy, I can eat more hot dogs than you. You know, you should come to practice with me. And, you know, if you think you could eat more hot dogs than me. And I'm like, yeah, okay, lady, you know, you're kind of, it's kind of crazy, you know, eating hot dogs and buns and blah, blah, blah. And, but I kept running to her into town around town and, um, she t finally talked me into going to, you know, the gym to try to, you know, practice with her. And I, I actually, I became her sparring partner for years, um, practicing because I, I, I'm good at this. I, I have a knack. I could eat, you know, at the time it was like 17 or 18 hot dogs in 10 minutes and buns. And it, it just, you know, she's like, you're good at this. You should try to qualify. And I kind of chuckled about it. I'm like, these guys are eating like 40, 50 hot dogs at a time. And I'm like, no, I don't really see myself getting to be able to eat more hot dogs than that. And um, so I just became her sparring partner and trained with her and pushed her, um, you know, during hot dog season to better herself. When is hot dog season? So hot dog season starts in April for us and it goes to July 4th, obviously. So, you know, it's three months out. That's what she, you know, decided that works for her, that she needs three months of prep and training to practice to better herself and that's really the the qualifying time because there's you know qualifiers all you know regional qualifiers all over the united states and that's really the the when there's the most of them during the year they they go from you know august to, to july but you know they're really you know um when they have them that's when they're having the most of them so during hot dog season so everyone prepares for for the july so you met a woman who <laughs> inspired you to become a competitive eater. Who is this woman? Where did you meet her exactly? And how did she know about this world of competitive eating? And she was like, how did she convince you to join? Um, so, you know, we, we met in the Poconos, Northeast PA. And, um, you know, I think she just happened to, you know, she has a large appetite. Her friends said, hey, you should try to do this hot dog thing. They talked to her into it. Then she met some other competitive eaters that helped her and took her under their wing as, you know, her mentor. And, you know, Laurel Marie, she's awesome. Um, she's been doing this for 11 years now. She's competed at Nathan's for, um, I think she's 11 years in at, at, at Nathan's eating every year, uh, finishing third place, second place, you know, doing really great, great numbers and doing a lot for the sport for women as you know as a competitive eater i think she's currently ranked 30th in the world um and you know she just kind of talked me into it finally convincing me to go to like a pocono qualifier back in like this is like 2015 i, I went to the qualifier and you know the mc the famous guy wearing the straw hat george shea he's up there and he's spinning his you know mc like you know our, our friend larry does you know it just gets out there gets loud gets the the crowd hyped and you know, he's going on about this guy that works at the mall and he's at Build-A-Bear part-time and Casual XL and, you know, he's in the food court and, you know, and I'm like, man, who's this guy? And, and then, of course, it's, you know, George Trigger from Pocono Pines. And I'm like, what? That's me. And I ran out there and, you know, the crowd went crazy and I got hooked. And then I finished second place. I think it was like 17 hot dogs and buns. It was probably the worst hot dogs I ever had in my life. Um, you know, I remember them tasting like erasers chewing on erasers probably the scar so probably be this was your better first competitive on. eating contest experience you were, yeah you had 17 
hot dogs. And you, yep. you didn't know how to train for this. You just were like, I am just fucking good at throwing these hot dogs back. <laughs> I have an idea. Like I had an idea going into it. I was, I was training a little harder, practicing, um, you know, like I said, we have hot dog season. So hot dog season during that time, we'll get together once, twice a week and set up, you know, 40, 50 hot dogs. And we try to increase our numbers every week. And we try to increase, you know, our speed and our, you know, work on techniques. And, you know, since then I'm, I'm eating 40, 40 plus hot dogs and buns in practice because of, you know, my techniques and speed and, you know, learning things over the last seven years, eight years really pushed myself further to uh, become one of the top contenders in the sport. And you, you did mention, I don't consider myself a, a Olympic athlete, but you know, Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest would be, you know, our Super Bowl or our Olympics uh, in the sport. And I, I do consider myself one of the best, you know, eating athletes in the world. Yeah. <laughs> now has, like in your in your uh, journey to become a competitive eater, has that ruined your just regular eating? Like, has that ruined like your casual social? You go out with friends. Hey, we're gonna go to this great restaurant, and like, do you have to sort of switch gears between competitive eating and like regular person? Like, has it ruined your ability to have just one of something? No, not at all, because I'm a foodie. I'm usually the last person eating at the table because I'm just bullshitting about life and enjoying life and enjoying the meal. Um, I, I'm really, you know, a foodie at heart. I could really downshift, I guess, in my real life with friends to enjoy a, a good meal. And it's, it's one of my favorite things to do is go out and eat with friends. You know, so I started a, a, a web page about it, you know, Jitter Eats, and then I, I you know, with all my contacts and calendar dates and everything but like on facebook we have uh, chigger eats with friends and it's just i love posting food with friends i'm out and about with or you know what you're eating tonight and we we talk about um you know we get conversation about meals what we're cooking at home what we 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 got at the you know the the steakhouse we're at tonight or you know the seafood house whatever you know i mean it's just great talking about food and taking your time and enjoying it on top of my speed eating with three pounds of food in minutes which is crazy but that's you know, that's what I do. It's crazy. Like, what is the most amount of food you've eaten? Like, I guess, competition-wise or maybe just on your own? Uh, food challenge-wise, I've done, like, 16 pounds of gyros. There's this famous um, uh, gyro place out in, um, what is it? it, it it's, um, oh, it's in Ohio. Um, Cleveland? No, it's it's green. It's just this little town. I want to say it's like Greenville, or um, I can't think. I'm, I'm I'm drawing a blank right now. It's funny, but it's it's uh, Southside Six um, Gyro place. It's a little mom and pop gyro, like six pack store, and they have a uh, it's supposed to be a twelve pound challenge. Six. It's supposed to be six two pound gyros, but you know you weigh the gyros. They're two and a half to two and three quarter pounds. So you do the math, you're 15, 16 pounds. You get one hour and six minutes to do it. Um, I am oh, one of, at, at the time, I was one of eight people to complete the challenge. And I was the third person to do it on my first attempt, which is huge. Um, since me, I think only one other person's um, completed it. But, it, you know, I'm proud to, you know, say that I ate 16 pounds of gyros or 15 and change of gyros in the hour to win because that was tough. That was one of the hardest food challenges I've ever done. But if you go into the my records, you can look at, you know, Nathan's this year was 30, 32 hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes. I finished seventh place. I've ate 14 pounds of strawberry shortcake. I've done 132 wings, 38 bratwurst, uh, 14 pounds of uh, poutine in Canada, shrimp cocktail, I've ate eight pounds in eight minutes, 12 and a half pounds of red beans and rice in 10 minutes. So it's really, um, the numbers just keep growing and the poundage keeps getting higher as I'm consuming food. And, and of course I've taken on 10 pound pizzas by myself, 30 inch pizzas and done all the crazy, you know, everyone's like, Oh, that's 72 ounce steak in Texas. I haven't made it there yet, but you know, I, I do like steak and I I've done a steak challenge recently. I'm pretty proud of a seven pound lobster roll ate a couple months ago. So I mean, the list just goes on. I eat food. You can check out my YouTube channel. I got video there, my you know TikTok and all that stuff. It's all fun stuff. 